Hello everyone. How's it going? The new short season with Star Wars collaboration has begun. It's fantastic. By the way, as you know, Fortnite Mobile is unavailable on iOS outside of EU. In general, we have to pay for the sideload service when we play Fortnite Mobile on iOS outside of EU. So, today, I'll show you how to install Fortnite Mobile on iOS for free. Let's get started. First of all, I want to show you which device I'm using. This is iPhone 11 Pro, iOS version 18.4.1 like this. If you use iOS version 18.3.2 or earlier, check another video from the description page. This video is for iOS version 18.4 or 18.4.1. I recommend you don't update iOS 18.5 and later. Also, don't update to beta version like 18.5 beta 4. Therefore, you should disable automatic iOS updates on an iPhone or an iPad. You are able to disable automatic iOS update as follows. Open settings, go to general. Go to software update. Go to automatic update. Uncheck iOS updates. For more details, check the link in the description page. Go back to the free installation tutorial. Run Safari browser app and go to Osson's homepage from the description page. The first step is to back up your device. Sometimes we fail to install tools. In that case, you might need to restore the device from the backup data. I share the link for how to backup in the description page, please check it out. The second step is to install two DNS profiles. Tap Install Now button of first DNS profile. When the message is displayed like this, tap Allow button. Profile is downloaded and tap Close button. Go to Home screen. Open Settings. Go to the General. Scroll down on the screen, go to VPN and Device Management. You can see Downloaded Profile and tap it. Install Profile screen is displayed. Tap Install button. You should read the consent. Tap Next button. You can see the warning a message. Tap Install button. Installed button will appear at the bottom. Tap Install button. When you confirm profile has been installed and tap Done button. In terms of second DNS profile, it's the same procedure like first one. Do it in the same manner. You have to install two DNS profiles here. of your words crashing into me Drown me in Go back to Osson's home page. The third step is to install Portal. Tap Install Now button. You will be asked if you install Portal. Tap Install button. Go to Home screen. You can see a portal being installed and verify installation is complete. When you can see a portal icon completely, tap it. Untrusted Enterprise Developer window will pop up. Tap Cancel and close it. Open Settings as again. Go to the General. Scroll down on the screen, go to VPN and Device Management. You can see Enterprise app and tap it. The blue button, which begins with the word Trust, will be displayed at the next window. Tap it. You will be asked if you allow apps from the company. Tap Allow and Restart button. The device will restart. Wait for a while. You can see the message ready to install profile after about one minute. Swipe up to continue and tap Install Profile button. Confirm profile is installed. 
Go to Home Screen. Tap Portal icon. If Portal app runs correctly, tap to Continue button at the bottom of the screen. If Customization window appears, tap Continue button and tap Done button. If the What's New window appears, tap Continue button. Now, look at the menu at the bottom of the screen. Tap Downloads icon. Tap Feather icon under Apps. Tap the Continent button at the next window. You will be asked if you install Feather. Tap the Install button. Go to Home screen. You can see Feather being installed and verify installation is complete. When you can see Feather icon completely, tap it. If Feather app runs correctly, tap the Continue button at the bottom of the screen. The installation of Feather is complete. Close Feather. The fourth step is to download a certificate and import it. Open Safari again and go to My Home page. Tap the Download button. You will be asked if you download the file. Tap the Download button. Once download is complete, go to Home screen. Open Files Trap. When you see the downloaded file, uncompress it by tapping it. Verify the certificate file is extracted successfully. Go to Home screen and open Feather app. Tap the Settings icon at the bottom of the screen. Scroll down on the screen and go to Add Certificate. When the Certificates window appears, you can see the Plus button. Tap it. From the top of the menu, import files one by one. Tap the Import Provisioning File. Select the provisioning file after you move to the location where you downloaded it. Second one is Import Certificate File. Tap it. Select P12 file. Third one is password. Tap it. Input the password, WSF, in uppercase. Tap save button at the top right corner. Importing certificate is done. You need to change some options here. Settings button at the top left corner to go back. Go to signing options. Check enable protection. Back to the previous window by tapping Settings button at the top left corner. Go to Server Options. Check Online Install Method. You will be asked if you close the app for changes to take effect. Tap OK button. Feather app will be closed. The fifth step is to download Fortnite IPA file and install it. Tap the Download button. When you are asked to enter the password to unlock the link, enter the password. Normally, the password is provided in the description page. After you pass the page, you can download IPA file. You will have a problem with preview and it's OK. Tap the download button. You will be asked if you download the file even though Google is unable to scan it for viruses. Tap the download anyway button. You will be asked if you download it again. Tap the download button. Wait to finish downloading it. After the download has completed, go to home screen. Open Files app and confirm IPA file has been downloaded. Open a Feather app. Once Library Windows is displayed, tap Import button. The list will appear and tap Import from Files button at the top of it. Select the IPA file after you move to the location where you have downloaded it. Once importing is complete successfully, Fortnite is displayed under Download Apps. Tap it and sign Fortnite button will appear at the bottom of the screen. Tap it. Customization window will appear and tap Start Signing button at the bottom of the screen. Fortnite will be displayed under Signed Apps. Tap it. The list will appear and tap Install Fortnite button at the top of it. You will be asked if you open this page in iTunes. Tap Open button. You will be asked if you install Fortnite. Tap Install button. After sending payload is done, go to Home screen. If Fortnite icon has been displayed completely, you have succeeded in installing it. Tap Fortnite icon. If you can see the downloading screen, you have succeeded in running Fortnite. Caution. Compared with Android version, the download progress bar is unstable. Be patient until the download is complete. It takes from 10 minutes to about 1 hour to finish downloading. So it is good to open Fortnite while charging the battery. 
don't close Fortnite to use the background process. In some regions, it seems downloading is restricted and then it might not finish forever even after you wait for several hours. In that case, you should use VPN to avoid restriction. When you use VPN, download via Japan. When you reach the lobby, congratulations! Enjoy Fortnite Mobile on iOS. In terms of updating, it's easy. Once you get a new IPA file, go to the fifth step. You can update Fortnite by doing in the same manner. If you can't get a new IPA file, let me know about that. Once I find a new IPA file, I'll upload a new IPA file. And then I share the information by using YouTube video. That's all for today. If you do well by following my instructions, let me know what your device and what iOS version is. The feedback must be useful for other Fortnite mobile users. I hope you all can play Fortnite on iOS. If you feel this video is useful and nice, please click the good button, subscribe this channel. Maybe you have some questions. Feel free to make a comment. See you soon. Bye.